let's chat using shaping procedures to increase accuracy and independence with handwriting. So handwriting is one of those really difficult skills to teach to early learners or just learners that have some fine motor issues or for whatever reason, handwriting has just been extremely aversive. And so we've moved on to other strategies, maybe like just being able to type or use other modes to um, input information. But handwriting can be a really important skill. The ability to write your name is so necessary. No matter your age, it is never too late to use shaping strategies with our learners. So shaping is reinforcing approximations of the overall correct response to increase some behavioral success and allow some reinforcement for their best guess, right? So with regards to handwriting, um, first I'm just gonna reinforce them holding the utensil. It could be a fist scrap to start with, reinforce that. Next level, maybe I wanna move to more of a this scrap. And next level, then I'm gonna increase the duration, right? I want them to be able to hold it without just dropping it and it being aversive, right? And then I just want them to scribble anything. Anything will be effective. And it could be with a marker, crown, pen, pencil. I want to use lots of different things, right? Because we are always programming for generalization, right? On paper, dry erase, chalk, whatever it may be. And then we are gonna get into drawing letters and really narrowing in the accuracy of their ability to draw on paper, right? And so this is a strategy that I have used a lot of times of using shaping to shape my initial response down to an independent correct response. My name's Bailey, it starts with the letter B. So this is a strategy that I would use to prompt um, writing the letter B independently and accurately, capital letter B, right? So at first, all I care about is that I want them to take their pen, pencil, marker, whatever we're using, and just touch it on the orange dot touch orange dot, touch orange dot. And then I want them to touch it on the orange dot and just draw a line down, just draw a line down on each level, right? And so there, there may need to be much more mass trials of this. And so maybe just one piece of paper is just these dots for a week. However long it takes for to master this step, master the next step. And then my next step is draw a line down and my little hump at the top. Draw my line down, another hump, another hump, until I get to the very last step of writing a capital letter B independently and successful um, without any prompting, without my prompting starting point, and without any external visual aids or prompting, just an independent letter B. So this is an example of using shaping handwriting skills to draw an independent capital letter B. So we don't necessarily need to just overwhelm our kids with tracing their whole name, right? That can be extremely aversive and extremely difficult, especially if we have vision issues or some fine motor issues or just some neurological planning issues. And so we want to use shaping. I want the response initially to be very small and I wanna provide reinforcement because handwriting is aversive and it can be difficult for a lot of our learners. So I wanna give lots of reinforcement and I wanna establish success so that, re so that handwriting is a reinforcing activity because my child has accessed a lot of early on reinforcement for participating in the handwriting process. And then I would use this with my next letter, B-A-I-L-E-Y, every letter until we were independently writing my name. And what did we just do? We just taught our children how to write their name quickly, effectively using shaping procedures.